Welcome back everybody to Oath and Falgana. East Oath and Falgana. Uh, we're gonna come back and hopefully fight this fucker who's been giving me a hard time. Hoping to uh, knock him out here soon. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, quick strategy here is this is a two phase boss. Uh, we want to try to get through this one phase as quickly as possible. Uh, once I knock him down to half, uh, half health, we'll be in stage two. This is unfortunately the easier of the two. Uh, I don't know. If, okay, maybe easier is not the right word. I tend to get impatient in this first phase, so I end up losing too much life. And then the second phase, I tend to take a lot more cautiously because there's a very small window where you can deal damage to him. And then I go all out. So you'll see. Uh, there's also a killer attack that he does that's gonna that would do like 80 per 80 damage or so of my health. So I hope that we won't get that point. And he seems to have um, sort of like in these origins. He seems to have certain I don't know health um, values that he will basically shut down, shut you down from dealing any more damage to him. And you have to essentially uh, play the waiting game until uh, he comes down to attack you again. So I'm in, I believe, phase two right now. Once I get him down to about 300 health or so, we'll go into his last phase, uh, which, yeah, will be right after this. So, I always see... Yeah, and this is the dangerous attack. That if you get hit by, you're dead. And I survived the first attack, but then the second. I'm gonna focus this time, hopefully. I lose any life early on. Okay, I fucked that up already. And uh, we'll go from there. So let me just focus. Looked pretty good so far. Got a little more than a half health myself. If I do a good job evading him, I should be able to do this this time around. Pretty piss poor right now in terms of damage.
did it. I did it. I finally fucking beat the stupid fucker. Jesus. With a little bit of luck, he didn't actually do his big boy attack uh, where he goes around the screen, but I did figure out how to get around that by just sort of... I don't know if you want to call it circle strafing, but it's sort of what it felt like. The darkness statue, Sora. Alright, I guess we go back to wherever we came from. Chris Chester's probably waiting out here for me like, Alright, stop being a dickhead. Or not. Here, okay, great. What are we at? Money? I've got a ton of money. Need about 16. No, no, I need 22 to level up my sword. Alright. Uh, I guess I go back now. All right, I have to use this thing. Guess we'll go to. I don't remember. Oh yeah, there's. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. Being stupid. I know I already have the double jump, which allows me to get into the mountains, which would be my next area. I've got a lot more monsters on our hand all of a sudden. Or if I got instead of just in the quarry, things could get rough with Gardner protecting the town all by his loathsome. By the way, have you seen Anya, have you? I noticed some ravel are missing from the house. Can't imagine what she plans on doing with it. Hunger doesn't wait for peace. Peace waits for hunger to be sated, and my belly's roaring like a wildfire. Then I haven't been working much, so I haven't been eating as much either. So I guess it makes sense. Hey, doll, please wipe out all the monsters so I can eat yummy food again. Without feeling like a blubbered. Heck, I came to Fagan looking for work. Four on this ring make a full blown knighthood, but uh, hey, wait a second. Where's my finger? Why's my finger got nothing on it? Where's my damn ring? Gone. Really gone. Oh, I'm so screwed. Where the hell could I have lost it? I know I had it when I left for Val Dan Castle. Old red old buddy pal, haven't you seen a strange ring laying around conspicuously, have you? Huh? Oh, <laughs> hey, Red! Uh, can I see that ring you got there? <laughs> yeah, that's my ring, all right. I'd recognize it anywhere. Uh, come on, man. Help a guy out. Let me have it back. Sure. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. I, I seriously owe you one. Oh, the best, Red. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I've got something I'd like to give you. To show my appreciation. Helsman War. Now I can go back home to my family and they won't bite my head off. All right. I am so ready for anything now. <laughs> Not sure what accent that was. Very weird. Increases duration of boost mode. That's good. Wait. I guess. Elena, I haven't seen her ever once today. Where's she gone? Wandered off to now. Place open, probably taking a break because of the whole Chester thing. Good cook to take Margot's place in the kitchen, though, without a doubt. Making everybody happy. Making everybody happy. In my house a little while ago, she had plenty to say, that's for sure. Mostly just nonsensical banner like old times, but that's the thing. It was just like old times. Strange now, she seems to be in much better spirits than before. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what improved her mood. Like the cloudy skies in her hearts have begun to clear and the sun is coming shining through. It's been pretty low lately for obvious reasons, but I think ellen has got the right idea. Just got to keep on moving. Bob remains... Un lie unmarked in the cold, uncaring darkness of the quarry, half buried in rubble, forgotten alone. Don't mean to sound more, but I just can't stop thinking about it. Dear Lord, please keep watch over Bob's soul. Grant him continue your spite within your divine light. May he remain always in his eternal embrace of his dearly departed parents.
Never mind trading. We don't have food for di dinner tables now, nor any other daily necessaries. What's Squire expect us to do? Plan to kill us slowly and spinelessly? I've actually considered leaving town, but there are monsters everywhere out there. I'm not trained to fight. I've never been able to survive on my own, much less with my family. Oh yeah, my double jump doesn't work in town, because why would it? Foreigners have started saying that Fulgana is cursed. Damn fools, every one of them. What evidence have to justify that statement? Just because we've had a few monsters suddenly were cursed? Giant monsters that I've had trouble beating. Nice. Oh, Adol! I'm back. Adol, you made it! Sure did. Pierre just got back from the castle a little while ago. Seems Hooray. Bishop Nicholas made a good case on his behalf. Good for the Count saw Bishop fate, Nicholas. Yes. He spoke far kinder things of me than I deserve. I owe him a tremendous debt of gratitude. Unfortunately, Chester was out on an errand for the Count at the time. So no answers were to be had on that front. And the Bishop had no luck finding any information on the statues either, I'm afraid. That is unfortunate. But we shall take the victories we can get. And the bishop is still there, so answers may yet be forthcoming. On another note, did you happen to find anything else upon your return to the abandoned mine? Adol recounted all the events that transpired in the abandoned mine and detailed the items he acquired therein. Uh, that would be what? Tablet? The, obviously, the, 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 statue and maybe a gem amazing you're like a magnet for danger hooray hmm genos and galbalan i never thought i'd hear that name again much less in this context you know what it is then it's an old local legend long ago a great and terrible beast known as galbalan <coughs> came from across the sea and took control of Felgana. He had the power to transform the people and spirits under his influence into twisted, evil creatures. Or so it goes. But one day, a hero appeared, wielding a mighty sword. He was a mighty was the sword. warrior. Genos, it never like a mighty he act? borrowed the powers of the gods and fought the beast. And at long last, against insurmountable odds, he won, and that's about the extent of what I know, I'm afraid. Legends like that aren't too popular these days. Barely anyone remembers them, <laughs> save for old coots like me. I've certainly never heard it before. That does remind me. I asked Bishop Nicholas earlier if he happened to know the origin of the Ilburn's ruins. Apparently, it used to be a church of sorts, devoted to some long-lost pagan deity. Interesting. Given the circumstances of late, it's not unreasonable to suspect there may be a connection. There's also one more thing that bears mentioning. Out in the Siena Bay, there's an old deserted island we've always known by just one name. Genos Island. There was once a small village there, but it was ravaged and destroyed by disease 12 years ago. What? What an interesting time period for that to have occurred. It happened three years before you arrived, so I'm not surprised you would. Genos Village never had many dealings with Redmond, and the whole tragedy was so terrible. People rarely discuss it. I don't know much about the disease that killed them all, though, I'm afraid. According to the official statement from Valestine Castle, it was some sort of extremely severe fever. This doesn't instill a lot of hope. An island named for the hero who defeated Galbalan. Totally annihilated. The voice Adel heard is seeming less and less implausible, and more and more frightening. Indeed. Adol, Dogi's gone to speak with his master, Berhart. Perhaps you should meet with Berhart as well. He's a rather eccentric man who's chosen a life of near solitude and devoted himself to studying the land's folklore. There's no one in Felgana who'd be more likely to know about Genos, Galbalan, the statues, and maybe even that voice. 
I believe I'll return to the castle and update Bishop Nicholas on what we've discussed. If you decide to follow Dogi, Adam, I suggest you exercise caution. The Elder Mountains are not hospitable. Perhaps you should visit Doggy, Centric Man, we already talked about that. Go this way, talk to you. So I'd all guess you and Doggy are headed off to fight on Felgana's behalf, huh? If anything we can do, just say the word. Money. Money, money, give me money. With you two fighting like storybook heroes, it'd look pretty bad for the rest of us just kicking up our heels, you know? Yeah. Give me money. I want money. No one here. Really? You'll play? Oh, you're super awesome, mister! I want to play treasure hunt, except you'll be the hunter, and I'll be the pirate who hid all the booty. Arr! Arr. Avast ye, scallywag! Me treasured been hid all across this scurvy town, and you're the only one who can find there be four stashes of rich stuff. If you can find them all, you'll be the king of the pirates! <laughs> now go! Does that mean I have to find the one piece? Fascinating. Welcome back, Father Pierre. I'm relieved you made it home safely. I do hope, however, you'll be more mindful of your position in the future. You had us worried sick. Sorry to have made you worry, sister. Now, Bishop Nicholas too. I have no idea how many people cared about me. <clears throat> I'm both flattered and embarrassed. Good babe. Locked away in a castle dungeon, I were to remain in their custody much longer. Instead, I was held in a waiting room if the dungeon was already occupied by another prisoner. The guards addressed him as a young man. He seemed strangely hesitant to have me meet or catch sight of him. He'd be a tad unreliable from time to time, but he is the kindest, most selfless man I've met, almost thinking of others first and foremost. I see improvement each day. In time, I believe he will meet or exceed the high standard set by his predecessor. Indeed, he is far purer and more selfless than I. Oh. There's one Ravalor. Right, let's look around for some more Ravalor. Alright, she has hidden it about the village. And likely on places that I would have to jump for, but who knows. Take a look. We're gonna check indoors first. And then we'll look outdoors second. Because we found the first one indoors. I imagine they're probably hidden outdoors as well. Easy sort of to spot them indoors though. Sort of the problem. Hopefully they're not hiding in barrels or... Uh, What's it called? Uh, wells, like the first one did. Bob rise in a cold, unmarked grave. No man deserves that. Never be remembered again. Other than the new hero on the block, Adon Christian. Waiting for another appointment to get my spear all sharpened up and ready for action. I don't like leaving my post in a tenant, but it's no less dangerous when facing monsters with dull weapon, you know. No offense, but like... Sharpening a, a dagger or sharpening a spear and sharpening a sword are two different things. Well, I guess they're all different, isn't it? For an axe, you kind of just want to put an edge on it. Uh, with a sword, you want to sort of balance the edge against the, the thickness and, and the remaining durability of the sword. And a spear, I guess you want to kind of take into consideration, uh, you know, the point itself. Is that it's going to be your primarily primary form of attack?
Talking about non-slippy shoes. Hey, Mr. Adol, my little Pickard buddies have been severely under the weather lately. I looked up their symptoms and it sounds like they got themselves some kind of disease. But how? I mean, I've always pampered them and showered them. They've never gotten sick on my watch before, and certainly not this badly. I think they might even be dying. They just keep getting weaker and weaker. There's an herb called a berm leaf and that grows in the Elder Mountains. It's supposed to be like a, a Picard cure-all, but it's kind of rare and hard to find. And I'm way too young and fragile to scale those icy monster infesteds. I just don't know what to do. What I need is a hero who'll risk it all for great justice and cute Pickards. Okay, scales. Err, the force such as the rich stuff be made, he buried them myself, which means I hid them across this land, Lubbin Town. Need a hint? A filthy barnacle? The sneakiest one of them all is hidden near a real fancy window. Ain't gonna be easy to get it all, neither. Take that, ye pl your plunder. We had him in barrels. Because I found this one already, which is near what I presume near a stealing glass. So these others must be in barrels, I'm guessing. Not in barrels, they're hidden somewhere in plain sight that I'm not seeing. Hmm. Please tell me the hardest one is not was not the easiest one for me to find. Are you kidding me? That's two. There's three. I feel like it's gonna be over here by these boxes. Still too close to the other one, I suppose. Money! I want money! I can buy expensive gear. Make my life easier. Guy's like probably like I only have like two fucking rubles to rub together. Why are you asking me for money? Cause I'm spoiled, okay? Well, they're clearly all in town, so there's only one more I'm missing. this building and one over here pretty sneaky sis village, I'm sure. Could be in a house.
That's evil. See that? That's evil. 